Hello and welcome to the Blue Open Studio tutorial video series. The topic of this video will be DDE communication. In this video, we will be discussing dynamic data exchange or DDE communication, the properties of the DDE worksheet, and we will demonstrate configuring DDE worksheets, communicating via DDE to KEP Server EX, and communicating via DDE to an Excel file. We'll first discuss what DDE means and how DDE communication works and how we accomplish it in Blue Open Studio. So first, what does DDE stand for? It stands for Dynamic Data Exchange. And to summarize, it is a method of inter-process communication under Microsoft Windows or OS2 operating systems. It allows for one program to subscribe to items made available by another program. This is similar to the same concept that OPC communication uses. And via DDE communication, that program can be notified whenever that item changes value. And how we accomplish DDE communication in Blue Open Studio is we use a client task or worksheet to configure a DDE client to connect to a DDE server application such as Microsoft Excel or any other Windows program that supports this interface. So for example, we have the Blue Open Studio application and via the DDE communication task that we configure, we can communicate to numerous Windows applications. This includes Excel, Access, Word, and even some SCADA systems like KEP Server EX. We'll now configure two DDE communication worksheets. The first will be to KEP Server. First thing I will need to do is add a new member to our driver class. So I will go to the global tab, expand classes, and open the datasheet view for the C driver class. And at the bottom, I will add a CONN name and I will leave the type at integer. Now that I have that member added in, I will open my project tags database and I will add a new tag called DDE underscore KEP. And I will set the data type to be C driver and set the scope to local. We'll then close my tags database and then go to the com tab and at DDE at the bottom, I'll right click and select insert. And just like every other communication worksheet we have seen, this is set up very similar, a header and a body. The header has several fields that have to be configured in order for communication to be established via DDE. And the body will include the tag names and the items for DDE communication. So on the header portion, we have several fields that are familiar, a description name, a read and write trigger, uh, the enable read when idle and enable write on tag change, and then the read and write status. These operate the same as on the standard driver worksheet where tags can be entered in or static values. And at the very top, we have project name, topic, and connect. These are specific for DDE communication. And how they are configured is you put in the project or essentially the server name, the topic, which would be the driver or protocol, and the connect is a tag that is used to start and stop the connection. This is not a trigger. This is essentially a disable field. They just named it differently for DDE communication. So for us on description, we're going to type in training DDE kep server EX. And as always, you could put tags in here, but since they are straight text fields, you'd have to put the tags in the curly brackets. We are not though, since we are going to connect to Kepware, I'm simply going to enter in what is required. I was able to figure this information out via the help files for Kep Server EX, depending on what SCADA system or application you're using that supports DDE, these settings may be different. So for the project name, I'm going to put in KEP DDE, all lowercase. 
for topic underscore DDE data, all lowercase, and connect. I'm going to right click, select insert tag, select my DDE underscore kep, go to member, and select con. Now I have my DDE underscore kep dot CONN for the connection field. Read and write trigger I'm going to leave empty, and I'm simply going to enable read when idle by entering a one. And for the read status, I'm going to enter in the DDE kep read underscore STAT. All I want to do is be able to read these values from the DDE server. I do not want to write to them, so I'm going to leave the write fields blank. This will allow me to read only. And now on the body of the worksheet, we have to enter in the tag names. We will once again create new tags. The first one will be DDE underscore ramp. We'll create it, leave it as an integer, set the scope to local, click OK. And the second will be DDE underscore random. Once again, leave the type at integer, set the scope to local. And now for the items. As you can see, I have no browse because this will not connect to a server like OPC will. So in order to enter this in, I have to go into my DD server and find the actual item name. I've already done that and I have them configured already on a notepad. So I'm just simply gonna paste them in here. As you can see, the syntax is the same as what we used to set up the OPC UA. So especially with Kep Server EX, the syntax for the item names will be similar. In the other software packages, it may vary. Now that I have those configured, I can come down into my database spy and I will enter in the items that I want to monitor. The first one, I'll copy my connection value, enter that in. And then the next one will be the status. And I will finally put the two data tags for DDE. I will now save. I'll save a sheet number one. When I expand DDE, you see my new DDE worksheet appear. Once I have those tags configured in the database by, I am ready to start the runtime and test communication. As you see, I have no values except for the status field, which has a 999. This is because the connection tag is set to zero. And in the DDE worksheet, the connection field, this tag here, just like everything else, will evaluate what is entered in as true or false. False once again being zero, true being any other value but zero. So the fact that this is zero means it is not going to connect. As soon as we set this to one, we see the status go to zero, which means good read, and we see the ramp and the random tags changing value. So now I'll set up the DDE connection to a Microsoft Excel file. And I will begin just like I did with the Kep Server EX connection. In the Project Explorer, I'll make sure I'm on the COM tab and then right click on DDE and select insert. And for the description, I will enter in training DDE Excel. In the project name, I will enter in Excel. And then for the topic, this will be the Excel file name with the file extension and then the worksheet in that Excel file that we will be connecting to. Uh, in the BOS training zip file that was downloaded in a previous video, we have a demo Excel file we'll be using there. Uh, don't worry if you haven't downloaded it. The link for that file will be in the description of this video. So I will open Windows Explorer go to the C drive, go to my training files, and then find ddedemo.xls, copy that. I am going to paste it into my BOS underscore training folder. And now 
I know what the Excel file name is, but I need to know what the worksheet name will be. So I will now open the Excel file. And as you can see with the Excel file open, we only have one worksheet and it is labeled DDE. So what I'm going to do is before I go back into Blue Open Studio, I'm going to snap the Excel file to the right side of my screen, then come back into Blue Open Studio. And in the topic field, I will enter in DDE underscore demo dot XLS, then use a forward slash to separate between the Excel file name and the workbook. Then I'll enter the workbook name DDE. For the rest of the fields, the connect status and triggers, I'm first going to create a new tag. So in the project explorer, I'll go to the global tab, open the data sheet view for my tags and then create a new tag called DDE underscore Excel. And then set the type as driver and change my scope to local. Close that, come back into my DDE worksheet. Then for connect, I'm just simply gonna type in DDE underscore Excel dot C-O-N-N. I'll leave the read and write triggers empty. I'll enable read when idle and enable write on tag change. So for this DDE connection, I now wanna have the capability of reading and writing. And then for the status, I will search for the Excel tag. And for the read, I will select the read underscore stat member. And I will copy that and for the write status, just enter that in and change it from read to write. And now for the tags, I'm going to create two new tags. First one will be DDE underscore R2C1. It says it does not exist. Would you like to create it? Yes. Leave it as an integer. Set the scope to local. And then for the next tag, DDE underscore R2C2. Create that one with a local scope as well. Now for the items, unlike the kept server EX connection, where we put in the actual tag name on the kept server, this is going to be a specific location in the worksheet. And you may be able to tell what we're going to enter in here based on the tags that we just created. So you have to pick a specific cell inside of the Excel file. So for example, the tag in row one, DDE underscore R2C1, I'm going to put in a specific location here of R2C1. That will be row two, column one. That will tell us which cell inside of that Excel worksheet we want to look at. And then for the second one, it will be R2C2, row two, column two. Now I have both of my tags entered in. So what I will do is I will come to the DB3 tab on the database spy, and I will copy in the necessary tags I want to monitor or be able to modify the connection tag, both the read and write, and then my two data tags. Once I have that configured, I will close the worksheet and save it as worksheet number two. If I come back to the COM tab, you see it now appears and I will start the runtime. Then back in the development window, we see that we have a triple nine for the status for the read because we are currently not reading because the connection is set to zero. Before I modify anything, I will snap this over to the left and make sure I can view my Excel worksheet. I'll set the connection flag to one. We see the status goes to zero, which means it's a good read. So the first thing I will do is I will come here and in DDE data point one, which is cell A2, which is row two, column one, I will enter a value of one, two, three. And we see that it shows up down here. And then in the database by for R2C2, which will be cell B2, which is row two, column two, 
I'll enter a value of 555. Enter, and we see it now show up here. So now I have the capability of reading and writing back and forth between the Excel file and the Blue Open Studio runtime. This is not an action like in Pro Server EX. This is a background communication task, not only for Blue Open Studio, but also for Microsoft Excel. This is a integrated communication protocol that Microsoft Excel can use so we do not have to close and reopen the workbook to update the values. It will update them in real time, which is a very big benefit for this type of communication. If you're generating a report, you can leave the file open and view the report data in real time without having to save and reload the Excel file. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact ProFace America Technical Support by phone at 1-800-289-9266, option 2, or by email support at profaceamerica.com. You can also visit our website, profaceamerica.com, for manuals, drivers, product FAQs, and other product and software information. Thanks again, and have a great day.